If you use Home Assistant in easy mode like I do, and you're in the market for some smart shades, check these out from Motion Blinds. Motion Blinds recently got Home Assistant certified, which means they've been tested to work reliably and easily with Home Assistant. And they've sent me out a pair to test. Installation was straightforward. Since I opted for a version with a valence on it, there's two L-shaped brackets that you have to install first. Mine are outside mount, so I installed them at the top of the trim around the window, making sure that they were level. Then the whole assembly lifts onto the brackets and snaps into place and you're ready to go. Motion blinds use matter over thread to communicate with your smart home, so you'll want to make sure you have a thread border router such as an Apple TV, a HomePod, some of the Amazon Echoes, or Home Assistant's own ZBT-1 USB stick. Plugging in power to the USB port activates the shade and puts it in pairing mode. There's no kind of flashing LED or anything to indicate it's in pairing mode, so you kind of just have to trust that it's in pairing mode. But then you can go into the Home Assistant mobile app on your phone and add the shades using the Matter integration. It'll prompt you to scan for a QR code, and Motion Blinds has cleverly hidden the QR code underneath the cover at the end of the pool chain. So you lift it up and scan the Matter QR code when the app asks for it. From there, just follow the prompts on your phone and it should add into Home Assistant easily. Now, if you have any trouble adding Matter devices, not specifically these Motion Blinds ones, sometimes I've found it easier to add them to Apple Home first and then from Apple Home, share them to Home Assistant using the code that's generated in the Apple Home app. Just a little tip for you. Now, before using Home Assistant to control the Motion Blind Smart Shades, you wanna set the upper and the lower limits using the printed instructions they provided, which are really easy to follow. You basically, Hold and pull the chain to adjust the shade to the desired position, whether it's the lower limit or the upper limit. And then you press the setting button on the shade itself to set that position. Then you'll be good to go to use the Home Assistant app. Now for the fun part. In the Home Assistant app, you can manually open and close the shades, or you can set them to a specific level. It also shows the battery percentage and voltage of each shade. In my two weeks of testing, my shades still show 100% battery I'll be curious to see how long these batteries last over time. Motion Blinds says they should last at least a year before they need to be charged. And of course, you can also use Home Assistant to control them with automations. I, of course, have the basic automation set up, such as to open these at sunrise in the morning and then close them at sunset at night. I also have some limits put in so that they don't open when nobody's home, because this window is on a ground level. And for privacy purposes, I like to leave these shades closed when nobody's here. Another fun automation I've used for these shades is that my office that they're in faces east. So in the morning, I get blasted with sun through these windows. So I've set an automation using a lux sensor in my office to control this shade when it's very bright in here. I've set it so if a limit on the lux sensor is passed, this shade will lower down to 50%, which is just enough to block the sun from hitting me in the eyes when I'm sitting at my desk. And then when that light level drops back down below the limit, it'll open this shade back up during the day so I can still see out and enjoy the nice weather. One concern some people might have with motorized shades like these smart shades is the noise that they make. I'd say out of the box, the motion blinds is average with other smart shades I've used from Zemi Smart and Ulax. Now the one thing that motion blinds has that those don't is you can actually adjust the speed on the motor of these motion blind shades to any of five levels. And of course, the slower you go, the quieter they're gonna be. It's a really nice touch if you're picky about the sound of your smart shades that motion blinds has included. I also love the pool chain that Motion Blinds includes. I always preach about having a manual way to control your smart home devices for guests or even yourself to easily control them. And this pool chain is super easy to use. Once your limits are set, pulling it once basically toggles it between open and closed. And while the shade is moving, if you wanted it to pause in that certain position, you can pull it one more time like that. And then the next time you pull it, it'll do the opposite. So it's basically like a, a toggle function to control the shade up or down or pause it if it's moving. Price-wise, I'd say these are about average for DIY, fully customizable smart shades that you'll find from other companies. For example, these shades here are 32 inches by 70 inches long. And if I would have priced them myself, they would have come in about $490. This is a lot of money, but for high quality, fully customizable shades with several different colors to choose from, that's about average from what you'd find from other companies like SmartWinks. Motion Blinds also sells retrofit motors. So if you have shades in your house that are already there that you wanna make smart, that's a possibility. And those go for around 200 bucks or less. Now, if you're going that route, 
be careful to measure the diameter of your existing shades to make sure their smart motor will fit inside of it. I'll put links to the fully customizable shades and the retrofit options down in the description. Motion blinds are available worldwide through their dealers and are custom ordered to many sizes, colors, and styles. Here in the United States, you can find them online at popular blind sites like blinds.com and selectblinds.com. When you're shopping, look for the Motion Blinds Powered by Eve logo. Those are the ones that are now Works with Home Assistant certified. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoy this smart home content, make sure to subscribe.